Did you really think I was dead? <laughs> Me? Dead? Just because I've not done a month's worth of videos, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> No, I'm not dead. No, I mean, I might be dead inside, but I'm not actually dead. No, no. Anyway, there's a spot missing. We need to go get this guy back. So let's go. Hello everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to Star Wars! The Old Republic, Knights of the Eternal Throne, episode... One second. Episode, episode... Sorry, I'm literally just checking my YouTube channel to find out what episode I'm on. Uh, episode 12! Yes! Uh, <laughs> I was meant to do all of the uprisings, but I, I didn't. Um... I should probably explain where I've been, but I'm not gonna, because you don't want to watch Star Wars. Anyway, let's actually do this, because patch 5.2 is out, which means that it's time to go back to Iocath with the Forgotten World. The bizarre planet of weapons manufacturers known as Iocath is once again safe for organic life. Lana Benico scouts the planet for the Alliance, looking for a rumoured superweapon. Meanwhile, Republic and Imperial forces race to Iocath in an attempt to capture the planet's advanced weapons for themselves. So a bit of, just a bit of a recap, if you remember. Iocath is the sort of planet we were kind of pulled to by the Gravestone. And, of course, Scorpio was there with us as well. And we all just kind of appeared in different spots on Iocath. And, of course, Scorpio was like, well, this is where I and the Gravestone come from. And, of course, crap went down. Oh, oh, let's back that. It's all disappeared. Uh, crap kind of went down, and uh, Scorpio got killed for me because I didn't trust Scorpio with uh, Iocath, and she tried to betray me. So, um, yes, I know Arkin betrayed me, and uh, he's kind of on the alliance, but Scorpio was different. Alright, Scorpio, Scorpio was different. I know I got a lot of slack for killing Scorpio, and uh, I know the majority of you probably kept Scorpio. I don't know why I've gone that, it's just, yeah. Uh, majority of you probably kept Scorpio. But, well, I guess you're going to see what it's like if you didn't keep Scorpio. Yes. I will actually get into this in just a moment. I just want to show you the galaxy map, which is a brand new thing. Uh, I say brand new thing, it's updated to look... I don't know, I guess a little nicer. I'm kind of annoyed you can't rotate the map anymore. I I, I liked that. Uh, it, it looked kind of nice the original way. It definitely looks sleeker, but I think what annoys me the most is that so many companies seem to be wanting to flatten out their logos. I mean, if you know, it was the, the Google logo and the Microsoft logo and the Pepsi logo. It's all been ironed out. I kind of feel like Bioware have done the same with the galaxy map, but it's it's not too bad. It's it's all right. I'll get used to it. Anyway, <sighs> done all my talking. Let's actually bloody get into this, shall we? Are you sure we're ready to begin the Forgotten World? Yes. So we're going to be transported to Iocath. Are you ready for this, guys? Are you ready for this? I haven't played I haven't played Swoto in months. Uh, I yeah. In months? Um, in a month. Sorry. I say months. God. You had an episode a month ago. Did I record that three months ago? No. Come on. Come on. Let's do this. I'm not going to do the Operation Boss, by the way, because I am severely undergeared for that. And I've kind of just kind of... Kind of just gone... <laughs> I love how I just said kind of just kind of... I've kind of gone off Operations uh, as a whole lately. So... Space Bar! Oh, you're just popping in. Yep, alright. Oh. Sneaky intel. I wonder if this is going to build up to the next expansion. I wonder if we're going to get an expansion this year. Oh, there's my throne! I'm interested in what this guy had to say to me. No, I want to know what this guy said to Oh, okay. Ooh. The Eternal Alliance is getting stronger every day, Commander.
Worlds across the galaxy have sent us tribute, and everyone respects your authority as Emperor. Well, almost everyone. Ugh, of course. There's another rebellion on Zakul. What are your orders? Um... Deliver a warning, I guess. The rebels will have second thoughts once they're living in the shadow of my eternal fleet. Consider them scared straight. You're holding out on me, Theron. What's the status of our mission to Iocath? I was saving the best for last. Lana should be closing in on the super weapon right about now. What you guys need to understand is now that the the war against Arkan and um God, I've forgotten her name. Have I forgotten her name? Oh my goodness, how have I forgotten her name? Arkan's sister, Valen, yes. Uh Kratos can get back to being Lana. a dick now. How's sort of radiation sickness treating you? It's nothing I can't handle. Isn't that right, C6? Radiation level safe. Theron worried and melodramatic. Well, of course he is. You heard the droid. Mm -hmm. Lana equals full of herself. <laughs> Focus on the mission. Have you found the super weapon, Lana? According to the intel we received, it should be just up ahead. Stand by. Why are you looking at? Target located. Commencing scan. Power levels are off the charts and rising by the second. Incredible. Contact. Oh, oh. Oh, hello. Lana, what's happening? I've got company. The Republic. What's the Republic doing here? I guess we have spies on our own alliance. The Sith Empire. Oh, they must be after the super weapon. Get Lana back online. Hurry. Working on it. Oh, and yes, I am recording this episode at uh, 10 to 1 in the morning. Yep. Don't worry, I lost them. Lost who? The Sith Empire and the Republic. They're on Iocath, and they appear to be fighting for control of the superweapon. Iocath is massive. There's no way we all happened to find the superweapon at the exact same time. We kind of came Agreed. first. The timing is just too perfect. So it's fate, chance, or plain old bad luck. Either way, we've got a super weapon to deal with. According to my scans, it's more powerful than anything we've ever encountered. More powerful than the Eternal Throne? Quite possibly. If the Republic or Empire claim it, they would usurp the Eternal Alliance as the dominant power in the galaxy. The fallout would be catastrophic. Then we have no choice. We can't let this weapon fall into the wrong hands. How should we proceed, Commander? We'll meet you on Iocath, Lana. Head for the Fleet Spire and start clearing the landing zone. Understood. I'll see you soon. Ships of the Eternal Fleet, converge on Iocath immediately and await my orders. We have a war to win. <laughs> it's exciting. Exciting to have a fleet. But yeah, I'm recording this at like 10 to 1 in the morning because uh, I kind of finished at work at midnight. So I'm only now getting around to this. And then I need to record the pack opening video tomorrow, and then I'll probably not do any videos for the next month again. So, Hello, although this is going to be split into two parts. You're looking as dangerous as ever. Something's wrong. The Imperial and Republic fleets aren't attacking each other. Why does Kratotoko no, no, sound no. a little different with his mask? He sound is it me? Does he sound Something different is with his mask? Our weapon systems. It's coming from the planet's surface, near the super weapon. Somebody translate that, please. What does it say? The Eternal Fleet's offline, Commander. They can't help us. Really? Uh, then we're improvised. Tell the Gemini captains to find a workaround. In the meantime, we'll head to the surface and establish a landing zone. Good call. 
If there's any way to help our fleet, we'll find it on Iocath. I love how everybody's just trying to claim this as their own. I mean... I, I, I don't know. I don't think it's anyone's to claim, really. In my personal experience. But, you know. Maybe it's one of those somebody must be in control kind of things. Like the Eternal Fleet. Somebody must be in control at all times. Otherwise things go boom. Are we getting into gameplay? Oh we are! <laughs> Blimey. How long was that? That was a five minute cutscene, I think. Zakulan allies. Okay. Ooh, what is this? This is Oh. Are we getting please don't tell me we get straight back into a cutscene. Good. I like cutscenes, but to get straight back into it after we just come out of one. Uh, oh, that's a lovely hat you've got. Ah, oh, it's like one of those uh, Chinese hats. You know, the massive round ones. You know, the one that Poe wore in Kung Fu Panda. Oh, hello. Oh, what are you doing here? Purify. Excuse me, I'm trying to kill the purifier drones. Well, I hope people are watching this episode. I know I've been gone for so long, but... Uh, you know, I, uh, yeah. I'll make a separate video as to what's gone on, but I'm not going to do it in this, I'm not going to explain in this video. He says he's going to make a separate video of what's gone on. I, I, I'm probably not. I mean, uh, let me tell you right now. Nothing, nothing really has gone on. That is literally it. Nothing has gone on, but there's kind of been something that sort of stopped me from making videos. Nothing too major, just something that's kind of made me think I can't be bothered anymore. But I'll try and see if I can make a video Lana, explaining my reasons. Perfect timing. Ooh. Meet me at these coordinates and watch out for droid sentries. Clear the area. We need the fleet spire safe before we make camp here. Understood. May the force ever serve you. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's the CXP thing. Oh, that's good. Um, that's another that we're getting experience again. And what is this? A crystal cluster. Ooh. Ooh! Power shards. Do they go in currency? Okay, power shard. Okay. But what about this? Oh! 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 Oh, okay. I didn't realize you had to click on it. Well, it's getting exciting again, guys. And yoink! Bye-bye! One, two, three, four, oh! detected. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, I'm. Oh, I'm. The, oh, I'm the. Oh, never mind. No, no, no. Oh. Really attracted the attention of that. That was a close one. Ooh. Ah, more reputation. This is getting exciting. Oh, I'm getting a lot of shards now. Oh, that's good. Oh God, hello. Um, we got some, some lovely. Li oh. You guys blend in with the environment well, don't you? Okay, so... As usual... The recording... Kinda botched up. There's a van out there. Yeah, the recording kinda botched up. Um, I, I, these are the sort of problems which... I was sort of mentioning at the beginning of the video, which... Are kind of... Screwing around with me. Um, so... Yeah, I managed to get up until um, where I have to make the decision on if I want to be on the Imperial side or the Republic side in terms of trying to fight for Iocath. Uh, fortunately, that didn't mess up too much, so I will show that clip um, and then the episode will end where I'll try and figure out where the hell I went wrong. Uh, I am so sick of this. I am so sick of this. And now there's a dog barking. I'm sorry that I've come back with a bit of a pfft. So, yeah, enjoy my decision if I go for Imperials or the Republic, but I think you know which side I'm going to go for. Republic. Who knows, maybe I will go for the Imperials. You never know. Can I just not ally with anybody? Why should I side with either of you when I can strike out alone and take the super weapon for myself? Ayakath is extremely dangerous. 
As strong as we are, we won't survive a week if we're fighting both armies for control of the world. Especially with the Eternal Fleet stuck in the mud. We can achieve great things, but only if we work together. Say the word, and my forces will join your offensive. The choice is yours, Commander. Who shall we side with? Who shall we side with? Shall we side with the Republic and have Alara Dawn as our companion? Or shall I ally with the Empire and have Quinn back? You're going to find out next episode. Bye! Okay, okay. I'm going to side with the Empire. We will ally with the Sith Empire. A wise choice. Sith never listen to reason. Dorn, do it! For the Republic! What? What? I... <clears throat> Wait, so you... You had... She got away. We'll deal with her later. What? Commander, the Republic has launched their attack. Fight back with everything you've got. We're on our way. Quinn, we'll continue with this reunion later. For now, I need you to defend the Fleet Spire. With pleasure, my lord. The Republic scum will rue the day they trespassed on Iacath. May the Force serve us all. In a way, I'm kind of glad I didn't serve the Republic now. I mean, ooh. Oh gosh, how many missions are there? Are these all missions on Iacath? Oh, they are. Ooh, got a lot to do on Iacath then. Um, I'm kind of glad I didn't side with with them now. I mean, uh, considering that they actually had things rigged to blow. Anyway, I mean, what I what would have happened if I would have sided with uh, the Republic? Anyway, would they have had the same? Probably. Uh, travel to the Imperial base. Uh, you've sided with Empress Asina and the Empire is in the battle for the Iacath Superweapon. No sooner had you made your decision, the Republic launched their attack on the Imperial base. Make your way to the Imperial forward base on Iocath. Well. Um, let me just go back to my achievements a minute. How many, uh... How many... I'm trying... I've completely lost where my achievements are. Legacy. How many missions are there? So there's shots fired as well. So there's two more missions as well. I'm, I'm kind of wondering if I should carry on now or if I should... No, I can stretch this out to four episodes. Maybe do a mission per episode. We'll see. But anyway, we'll leave it here for now. I'm back, sort of. Uh, let's see if I can uh, stay back. Ooh, that's pretty. So we have Malavai Quinn back as a companion. So who we got? We got Vet back. We've got Broom up back. We've got Malavai back. We've got Pierce back. We're just missing one person, aren't we? I completely forgot who that one person is. Who is that one person? Um Jaser! That's yes. I, I I can't believe I've got my one true love. But anyway, maybe we'll get Jace back one day. But we probably won't. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I shall see you next time. And I appear to be floating. Sort of. And so is Darren. And a farewell to you.